Hello and welcome to today's class. For today, we're looking at how to do temperature conversion between the different units of temperature. We already define temperature as the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Now, usually, temperature is measured using um, three units. First of all, we have Kelvin, that's K. We have degrees Celsius, and that's this. Okay, so that's degrees Celsius or Celsius. We also have Fahrenheit or degree Fahrenheit. All right, so these are like the three um, basic units for measuring temperature in physics. All right, we have Kelvin, we have degree Celsius, we have degree Fahrenheit. Now, if I'm given uh, a temperature in one particular unit, how do I convert to the other unit? So that's what we'll be treating in today's class. Now, for you to do, for you to juggle around conversion between any of these three um, SI units for temperature, you must know these two, these two things. The first one is this, that Kelvin is related to Celsius by this uh, formula that Kelvin is equal to the value in degrees Celsius plus 273. That's the first one. Also, the second formula you should notice is that degrees Celsius. So the second one here is that um, degrees Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 multiplying degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Alright. So these are like my two formulas when it comes to doing conversion. So with any of these, you could make from here, you make Celsius such that the formula, such that from here you have that degree Celsius is equal to um, it's equal to, of course, I'll move this one here, over here becomes negative, so it becomes um, the value in Kelvin minus 273. So this is how to convert from um, Kelvin to degree Celsius. Also, the same thing here. Um, I could get, we could call this one here a third formula. I could get my fourth formula from this one here. So if I'm having that degree Celsius value is equal to 5 over 9 uh, degree Kelvin, degree Fahrenheit, 5 over 9 degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Let's make Fahrenheit um, submit to the formula here. Of course, my first task would be move this one over here. It becomes 9 times this. So, 9 times the value of degree Celsius is equal to, I'm left with this and this, so it becomes 5 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Alright, if I want to get Fahrenheit, my first task here is to divide here by 5, divide here by 5. This tells is this. So, I have that degree Fahrenheit minus 32 is equal to 9 over 5, 9 over 5, multiplying degree Celsius, so I have this. Hence, to get the value of degree Fahrenheit, oh, this is big, smaller, all right, to get degree Fahrenheit, I'll move this over here, so I'll have that degree Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 degree Celsius, this comes and becomes plus 32, so perhaps. This becomes our fourth equation for a conversion process. 9 over 5 uh, degrees Celsius plus 32. So we have this. Alright, so this is like um, the four formulas we need to juggle around conversion between Kelvin and degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. We'll take some few examples and then we'll do this conversion. Okay, so let's take a first example. Um, let's say we are asked to example one. Example one. Let's say we are asked to convert um, 143 Kelvin to I degree Celsius, I I degree Fahrenheit. All right. So convert 143 Kelvin to any of these two. So how do we solve this? Um, first of all, of course, we said to convert from so solution, solution number one. 
All right, so they said the relation between uh, degree Celsius and Kelvin can be plotted here. Now we said recall, recall that we said degree Celsius is equal to the value of the Kelvin minus 273. So the this conversion we simply subtract 273 from the value of degree Celsius. So hence I'll have that the value is equal to Kelvin is 143 minus 273. And that's equal to um, if I do my subtraction I'm having 143 minus 273, that gives you minus 130 degrees Celsius. Alright. So hence converting 143 Kelvin to degree Celsius gives you minus 130 degrees Celsius. Alright, let's get the second one then. We have to convert from Kelvin to Fahrenheit. So of course, I have successfully converted this to Celsius. So I have to take this value and convert to what Fahrenheit. So here's my equation. We said degree Fahrenheit is equal to this 9 over 5 um, times degrees in Celsius plus 32. Alright, if I include value, this is equal to 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius. This is minus 130, so minus 130, so that's this, uh, plus 32. Alright, if I work out this math, let's do 9 over 5, 9 over 5 times minus 130, that gives you minus 2, 3, 4, then plus 32. Um, that will be equal to minus 202 in what's that? Degree Fahrenheit. So my answer becomes minus 202 degree Fahrenheit. So this is how we do conversion involving Kelvin, degree Celsius, and degree Fahrenheit. So let's consider a second example. This question says convert. 428 degree Fahrenheit to number one says Kelvin, number one says degree Celsius, number two says Kelvin. All right, let's do this please. Solution uh, number one. So, first up, we have to get the relationship between Fahrenheit and degree Celsius, um, and that is this one here. All right, so we have this. So, for me to get self degree Celsius from Fahrenheit. I simply need to apply this formula. So recall that degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Alright, if I impute value, this is equal to, I'm having 5 over 9 into the degree Fahrenheit value, which is 428. So I'm having 428 minus 32. So I have this. Hence, the degree Celsius value is equal to, I'm having 5 over 9 into um, 428 minus 32, that gives you 396, and that's equal to, so I'm having 5 over 9 multiplying 396, that gives you 220, 220 degrees Celsius. All right. So we have successfully converted to degree Celsius. Our second task is to convert to Kelvin. Kelvin K is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. So I simply need to add this to 273 to get the Kelvin value. So Kelvin is equal to having a degree Celsius value, which is here is 220 plus this value here, 273. Hence, that is equal to, I'm having this as 493 Kelvin. Hence, 428 degree Fahrenheit in Celsius or in degree Celsius is 220 degree Celsius. This same value in terms of Kelvin becomes 493 Kelvin. So this is how we do a temperature conversion. So I think this can guide you in doing any conversion process uh, involving temperature in physics. 
All right. Um, so before we go, there's actually a relationship between Kelvin and degree Fahrenheit. It's actually much more complex for them. It exists. So let's see if we can derive the relationship between Kelvin and degree Fahrenheit. So how do we do that? Um, so I'll think so about first. All right. So back. So we have four equations. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can coin a relationship between Kelvin and Fahrenheit. Now, from equation one here, from one, we said that Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. But we can express degree Celsius in terms of Fahrenheit as this. Hence, if I call this equation one and call this equation two, if I put equation two into equation one, I will have that Kelvin K is equal to degree Celsius, whose value is all of this. That becomes 5 over 9 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So this is degree Celsius, which is this, then plus 273. So plus, um, I'll take this one off. So plus 273. All right. So this becomes a direct relationship between Kelvin and degree Fahrenheit. We'll use this to test this example and see if we have the same answer. All right, so let's get this done. So perhaps we could call this one equation 5. We could call this equation 5. All right. So if I have this, let's test this same question with equation 5. So if I'm to convert from 428 degree Fahrenheit to degree Kelvin. What do I want to Kelvin? What do I do? I'll have that the Kelvin value is equal to 5 over 9 into degree Fahrenheit. The value here is 428. So because 428 minus 32 plus 273. Let's call this out. This becomes 5 over 9. This value gives us 428 minus 32, which we did there, that gives us 396. So I'm having 396 here yeah, plus 273. In which, if I do this, this into this 519 multiplying 396, this one will give you 220. So 220 plus this one here, yeah, 273. That will equal to 493. Kelvin. So if you look at this, it works perfectly. So it works um, perfectly. Alright, so this becomes our fifth um, temperature equation. Our fifth temperature equation. Um, in the same sense, in the same sense, from here, we could make degree Fahrenheit subject to the formula. So we can see how we convert from Kelvin to what degree Fahrenheit. So how do you do that? Uh, let's see. Let's see for this. So we'll take this off. Alright, so from this equation, let's make degree Fahrenheit subject of the equation. So we'll have that Kelvin is equal to 5 over 9 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32 plus 273. So our first task will be move this over here. From having Kelvin minus 273, of course, plus 273 comes and comes minus 273 is equal to 5 over 9 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32. My next task will be use 9, of course, this is over 1. So 9 can multiply all of this. So I have 9 multiplying all of this. Observe this is in the bracket. So it becomes 9 into Kelvin plus 273 is equal to 5 into degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Of course, I'll have to divide here by 5. Divide here by 5. No, I'll have that. I'll have that. If I pick up these two, it becomes 9 over 5 into Kelvin plus 273 is equal to this cancel this. So I'm having degree Fahrenheit minus 32. I'm having degree Fahrenheit minus 32. 
So to get the value of the Fahrenheit, I simply need to move this one here over here such that I will have that the green Fahrenheit is equal to if I move this over here it becomes all of this plus 32 that gives you 9 over 5 into Kelvin plus 273 this minus comes and becomes plus 32 so this becomes the sixth equation of conversion all right so these are like the six equations with which you can convert from either degree Celsius to Kelvin or from Kelvin to degree Celsius or from Kelvin to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to uh, Kelvin as you didn't fit all right so this is how we do conversions in physics all right all right so see you in the next class